In a crowd full of strangers, could you find a cousin? Influencer Stuart Edge took that question to Times Square in New York City on the busiest day of the year. Let's watch and see what happened. We're probably related. View the relationship. Whoa! That's close. What's up, guys? Stuart Edge here. We are in Times Square, New York City. Roughly one million people gather at this Times Square to see the iconic ball drop. With so many people here from around the world, it got me thinking, could I be related to a stranger? I'm going to see if we're related. Okay. Maybe some distant, like, 1600 10th grade grandfather or something like that. I'm going to find out by asking people some information about their family history and see if maybe we share a common ancestor. Let's give it a shot. So these are your ancestors in yes, West yes, Africa? Yes, in well, I don't know if I'm related to them, but yes. we'll see. We are probably, let's go to fifth cousins. Fifth cousins? Yeah. We got a bet. Do you know an ancestor, like a grandparent, that's recently passed away? Yes. Is that them? This is your grandfather? My great-grandfather. No way! Okay, we are related, kind of. <laughs> Check this yes, out. Kind of. If I view a relationship, I'm ninth cousins. So we're... <laughs> that means we're tenth cousins. Wow! <laughs> it's a family it's reunion. It's a family reunion! <laughs> I always here. wanted to meet my tenth cousin. Conversations and the connections continued from there. Stuart Edge joining us fresh off that Times Square family reunion. Yes. How fun. Also joining us is Ian James, a senior project manager at Family Search. Thank you both for being here. That never gets yes. old. Those connections never get old. Why did you want to create a video, Stuart, about family discovery? Well, I've been a fan of, of family history pretty much my entire life, but it's really been in the past few, uh, probably a year or two, that I've better understood how this works and all this technology. And I just was like, how random would it be to go to New York and see if I could find a cousin? I, it was like a spur of the moment, last minute trip. <laughs> Seriously, I was like, I don't know what's gonna happen. I was just as surprised that I found some cousins. I, I love this work. I love, I love genealogy. I love it all. It's so cool yeah. to see what's happening. Well, this video is really resonating with people. Why yes. do you think it's taking off in the way that it is? I, th I think we're in this moment where, uh, like technology is so advanced, we're, especially in my generation, we grew up with technology. And so it's so interesting to see technology merging with something so old, yeah. which is family history. And yeah. I think it was done in a very unique way. Plus, I think we all have this desire to kind of know where we come from and we're all, Agree. we wonder like, could we be related? There's a magic to it. For some people, I know this work has a religious component. For yes. others, there's just that spark of connection that you want to feel. Yes. Brothers and sisters, one to another, however you want to look at it. Where can we watch the whole video? On my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Stuart Edge. I also have posted some clips to my TikTok channels as well. So okay, cool. And you've got, I know our phones are pulled up. You queued me up during the commercial break. I, I did actually. Like uh, we should do this now, like the New York version. Let's see if we're related. I'm ready, cousin Stuart. So uh, what, on the family search app, there's an activity where you can um, see uh, relatives around me. So okay. go ahead and click that and yes. click scan. Okay. Type there. That's you. We're fifth cousins. Hey! Yeah, now, li listen to this. Hey! That's actually pretty close. Is that, that close, is pretty, Ian? That you feel is, good about that? That yeah. is. That goes back to the 1800s, Nancy Alexander and Moses Tracy. Those are, okay. that's our... Um, uh, it goes through my grandma's line, the yes. conger line there. Oh my goodness, this so is fun. It's my fifth great grandmother and I believe your um, fourth great uh, grandmother. That really Cousin is close. Stu. That is Cousin close. Stu. Yeah. Cousin Stu. Cousin um, Stu. May I make a simple plug? Please. Um, I'm actually doing an activity on my YouTube channel where people can see if they're related to me. So go oh, check fun. out the video. It is fun. It's so fun it. to see. And Ian, this kind of taps into this fresh, I say fresh wave of, wave of enthusiasm. I think it's always catching fire and catching on. But there is Definitely. interesting buzz in the genealogy industry right now thanks to AI. How is that yes. changing the family discovery landscape? Um, AI really is just making family history and all that discovery way more accessible to many more people a lot sooner than it would have been otherwise. It's quicker, it's, it's a faster. Lot quicker. Well, yeah. We've asked you to kind of pinpoint an example because my brain can't sure. understand this like yours can. So, how exactly is it helping? Sure. So, um, for decades, Family Search has relied on volunteers to help make things findable, make people findable by looking at really old images and then typing those names into manually. the computer manually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And hours now, and hours and hours and hours oh of yeah. work. Yeah. Like, yeah, big, big job. Um, and then with AI though, like the AI can basically stand on the shoulders of all those people and all of their smarts 
and do that job automatically way, way faster. So it scans an old document like that, a book like yep. that, and this is the data that it pulls? Yep, and it pulls data like this. It puts together families like this, and then those turn into hints on family search. That builds the family tree, and then awesome things like the thing that's, that Stuart's doing can go forward. And so, so people could essentially be pulling up their family tree and seeing all new hints thanks to a computer. Yeah, thanks to the AI. And again, the AI is standing on the shoulders of all the volunteers who've helped family search for decades. What's the first step someone should take if they're interested in starting their own personal or their own family discovery? Uh, go to familysearch.org, create an account, put in your parents and your grandparents, and the, the computers will take it from there. Those family connections are so strong, and they mean so much for good reason for so, to so many people. So thanks for being an advocate of it. Thanks for teaching us what's happening behind the scenes. Are you excited by this yeah, progression? Yeah, definitely. I bet you are. I bet you are. Thanks, you guys. Great to chat with you. Yes.